woman of God, good morning, as I was sleeping and just before I woke up right now, I'm preparing for going to radio. <clears throat> so I heard God say this is a continuation of the word he gave us yesterday about entering his rest. Uh, he says that in these days we need to always take whatever word we hear, any prophetic word back to him. So uh, it's not a word for everyone. I'm trying to say it as I heard it. And he's saying that for those who God have called to rest in the book of Samuel, with the story of David, there's a point where this, uh, there's a part where they say at the time when kings went for battle, there was days where kings were going for battle. It says that time David stayed behind. Remember David at that time was a king. So at the time when kings went for battle, David stayed behind. And in him staying behind, he was distracted because as he looked outside of his window, he saw one of his servant's wife bathing. And seeing one of his servant's wife bathing, which was Bathsheba, um, then David fell into sin. And then we know the story they had sex uh, Bathsheba got pregnant David tried to cover up his track leading to killing Bathsheba's uh, husband and so forth so he just went he spiraled down so those who God is giving rest he's saying rest does not mean we are idling rest should not lead you to sin rest does not mean that you remove yourself from your position and your post rest just means no longer fighting as you used to but entering the rest of god trusting that he is able to fight for you but always remaining in your position resting means that now you have fought the battle now you know how to fight now you have all the tools now you know better you have repented you are now living a righteous life you are now in right standing with god but the rest also means resist the devil and he will flee so let your rest not make you feel so comfortable that you go back to where you come from i remember my pastor pastor wali uh, said this to me he said in the world people have sex and that makes a noise that makes a mess but when people are married sex then becomes intimacy because then it is a covenant so things that you do outside covenant is a mess it's a noise because David had sex with Bathsheba, who was someone else's wife, and yeah, who was someone else's wife. It became, it was a noise, it became a mess. It did not only affect David and Bathsheba, it affected Bathsheba's family, it affected David's family, a child died, and so forth. But when David then married Bathsheba, uh, that it became intimacy and it became a blessing because then Solomon was born. So let us not do things outside the covenant with God. What is the covenant that we have with God? It is the covenant of the New Testament, which is the blood of Jesus, the covenant of believing that Jesus Christ died. He rose on the third day, now seated with the Father in the heavenly places on the right hand side of the Father. The covenant of the blood of Jesus, the blood that was shed on the cross. So let us make sure we always take every thought captive. Let us be, make sure that, like, be, be aware of what are you thinking. Be aware of what are you watching. Be aware of what are you entertaining. Do not give a devil a chance. Make sure that 
he has no access to come back because remember uh, the story when Jesus de delivered the, 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 the demon possessed man, it says that the spirit went out, but then after it was roaming around, it went back to check if the house was clean or, or, and no one was occupying it. And it found that the house was clean, but no one was occupying. And then it went and came with seven more other powerful ones and to occupy it. So we don't want to find ourselves in a place where we go back 10 steps back while we have fought so much. We have repented. We have fought bloodline uh, curses. We we are now in a position where we are waiting for the manifestations of the blessings of God, of the promise of God, and to the will of God as how he created us before the beginning began to start walking in the fullness of who God says we are in the gifting of the Holy Spirit. And then now we miss it because of a thought, because of a entertaining things we are not supposed to entertain. So in your resting, make sure that you do not sin in your resting make sure you do not give the enemy a chance resist the devil and he will flee from you resting means uh never reading this word uh, and never making it depart from your mouth so you stay uh, reading the word of god you stay interceding it might not be warfare prayers but you stay interceding you stay asking Holy Spirit, how am I supposed to pray? What am I supposed to pray for? You stay in worship. Always make sure you are saturated with worship and the presence of God. Okay, good morning. I hope that word, I know it was for someone. So Sam, you are not, you have ne not yet entered the rest of God and it is okay. If God is still taking you through warfare, if you're still doing warfare prayers and everything, do that allow the process woman of god to complete the problem is we want to rush because we heard a prophetic word or we heard a word of god and then we want to rush to where we are not so in all that has been said from the beginning from january until now always gauge Horwena, what is god saying to you what's your time what season are you in that way you will be able to flow better with God and then you will be able to be patient and endure and let long suffering have its course because he says in his word that he wants us to mature to 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 come to a place where we are matured lacking nothing. So some of you into repentance prayers catching up from what we were doing in January until now. It is okay. Go through that process. Make sure the process completes. Some of you, you have entered the rest, you've warred, you've done everything, that you've been obedient to what God has been saying. Enter his rest, but enter it correctly. Yes, so stay in your position because David was not in his position at that moment. He was a mighty man who fought battles from a young age. He fought battles in the wilderness, fighting bears and lions. He fought Saul and he conquered and now because he was finally a king he also fought battles and killed so many people but at the day when the kings were going to battle uh, his people felt like ahman kalo olwa rest you know and sometimes why bonalona eya was it god telling david to rest or but to behind him amotlomela pelo and said rest so always make sure you are not outside the will of god because of what people tell you Always make sure every word, take it back to God and say, God, are you talking to me? How does this apply to me? How am I supposed to position myself so that we see the fullness work of God in our lives and we come to a point where we are matured, lacking nothing. Blessings. Good morning. Uh, let me prepare.